she announced she was ready to come. <laughs> when new mom Lauren Beckos went into labor, things didn't go as planned. And they were um, not quite sure that that pushing would be a good idea. Baby Abigail was not quite in the right position, so it would have to be a C-section. Lauren had wanted to keep things as natural as possible. I didn't want to uh, take any um, painkillers that if we could just do, you know, some kind of Tylenol ibuprofen. Lucky for her, Dr. Julie Gelman, an OBGYN at Swedish Medical Center, had a pill-free option, a pump that drips numbing medication to the incision site, replacing painkillers. It's a small tool, but it's what Dr. Gelman hopes will be a huge help in fighting opioid abuse that she believes includes some new moms. Commonly, they would be sent home on 30 Percocet, um, some people more, some people less, and sometimes they would have to come back to the doctor and they would need more pain medication, and the process can start from there. It may be the reason she says overdose is the leading cause of death for moms in Colorado. These are real people. This is a real concern. Dr. Gilman has only been using the pump for one year. She says it'll take time to see the effects on maternal death rates, but one thing is for sure. Are opioids available? They are. Are they needing them? A lot less, and some people not at all. For Lauren, her post-C-section recovery gave her more focus on her baby, fewer side effects, and of course, no risk of addiction. I would say most people wouldn't even be thinking of it until you, you wake up and you're like, okay, now I, I need something to manage my pain a little bit. What are the options? Jackie Crea, Denver 7.